The remote township of Fitzroy Crossing sits isolated in the far north of Western Australia. With just 2,500 residents, the town may be small, but it is well known for having a big problem. High rates of harmful alcohol use and alcohol-related violence have devastated the community. Some also began to suspect that the extent of damage alcohol was doing was far greater than the obvious physical and social effects, particularly on the children. It was often um, women making the comment and grandmothers and great-grandmothers saying, these children are different to how we've experienced parenting and raising our own kids. And it was becoming evident to them that alcohol consumption by women during pregnancy as well as what it is that children were being exposed to during and after um, uh, birth was having a toll on their lives. FASD is a condition that affects babies when women drink alcohol during pregnancy. Alcohol has an extremely toxic effect on the brain of the developing baby and, or fetus and these children are born with uh, lifelong behavioural and learning issues. So in July 2007, the women made the decision around the um, pursuing alcohol restrictions for Fitzroy and then second to that, um, we were able to focus on the impact of alcohol on children and then develop the Maralu strategy. What we've found is we have confirmed that alcohol use is common in women in these communities, over 50%. And furthermore, that women who do use alcohol use it at very high levels, putting themselves and their uh, unborn child at very high risk. We've also confirmed that there are high rates of fetal alcohol spectrum disorders. And really what the implications of this are for the community is that, first of all, prevention is absolutely critical. We've got to stop this happening now. So prevention, diagnosis, treatment of kids and support of their families. Um, when that knowledge or that information being given to you, it's very heart-wrenching that you find out that your children have been, you know, especially your own grandchildren and, you know, I'm an aunt or now a foster mother of one who's been actually diagnosed with, you know, the global um, FASD. So it is heart-wrenching to know that these children um, for the rest of their life will be, um, you know, they have got uh, damage, I guess, you know, they, their brain's been affected. FASD affects innocent children. I believe these children are right across Australia and they're not just Indigenous children either. As a country and a nation of people, we need to acknowledge that there are people in our community living with unique and complex needs and that it is upon us to become informed and educated about the appropriate respectful responses we can provide to, to those children. Community leaders formed a leadership team with the goal of overcoming FASD across the Fitzroy Valley. They created the Maralu strategy. Critical to its success was the early diagnosis and intervention of children affected by alcohol. Studies have shown that early detection and early intervention of child development can reduce the consequences of FASD two to fourfold. So if you pick a child up in their first year of life as being at risk for develop developmental delay, and if you implement strategies, early interventions in the first few years of life, you can halve or reduce fourfold the risk of imprisonment, unemployment, mental health problems, drug and alcohol abuse later in life. It's a golden opportunity and the window is brief. A key part of the Maralu strategy is prevention through education. Jadna Davies is a young local Indigenous woman who's taken up the first full-time position within the unit as a community youth navigator. I've seen it in my family cousins and nephews and they've gone from dropping out of school into bad relations, relationships to substance abuse to 
that chain reaction it's happened to them so they do it with their children I think that's where I feel where I want to try and break that cycle when you see it in your family it's not something you just read about it's more of a reality and it's in my job I think that's why at times it's not just a job I'm personally involved because it's in my family alcohol spectrum disorder and partial fetal alcohol spectrum disorder and then alcohol related neurodevelopment disorder. We're committing now to the next five years of the Murray Loose strategy. So we realise this is a long term investment and it's a long term commitment. It's the community strategy but this community realises that they need strong partnerships with service delivery agencies, with research partners, with education and health sectors and they need to bring in that sense of agency to help to get this done. But it needs to be done on their terms. And that's the beauty of the Murraloo strategy and the circle of friends and supporters that we've developed. We all realise it's the community's work, but that we each have a role to play in that work. You, you just have to look around here and, and see how the community are standing up and saying, you know, it, it's no more and uh, we're not going to, we're going to stand up for ourselves and we're going to make it happen for ourselves. And that in itself is an initiative that I, you know, I would love to be a part of because when people believe themselves and see the benefit themselves, um, you know, this, you, know you, you know, it's going to work. And I, you know, I look at June and her passion and all the ladies around here and their passion for this project. And um, you know, I know it's going to be a success and we want to be part of it and we want to support it. Australia does not formally recognise FASD as a disability, so funds have yet to start reaching affected children across the country. To date, the Myralu strategy has relied heavily on the support of organisations like the Kimberley Diamond Company and Variety, the children's charity of WA. As we move into the next phase of the strategy, it is now more important than ever to raise awareness and funds to keep the Myralu strategy on target and to realise the dream of making FASD history in the Fitzroy Valley. The Kimberley Diamond Company and Variety WA are proud to be a part of the Maralu strategy. We have traditionally always worked with Variety um, and what we do is uh, we use this forum, um, or the, the dinner, which is you know, a traditionally a fun event where everyone gets together to have fun, but really also to, to you know, get people to dig into their pockets and, and buy some of the coveted yellow diamonds that come from the ground here um, and actually make that money count in contributing back to the community. In the next five years, we can make FASD history in the Fitzroy Valley. We can make it so that this is something that used to happen in this place. And it's worth getting involved in and it's worth investing in. The Fitzroy Valley communities and organisations have a proven track record of moving forward in this space, recognised internationally as leaders in this work. So this is one place where people should want to be and this is one movement that people should want to be part of. We can make this happen. Please show your appreciation to all those who have invested so much time, passion and love into securing a future for those who need it the most, our children.